Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gian aka Beauty Outspoken and today we're going to be answering the question Do you need gel for your twist outs? Now a couple years ago you could not find me not using gel for my twist outs but I found that my hair was very stiff and um, it didn't keep moisturized for a long time. So as time went by I stopped using gels and stuck to just twisting creams only. But I must admit that sometimes the twisting creams don't give me always the longest bet. Um, I always wondered if it was my technique or it was just the fact that I stopped using gel. So this is a question that I ask myself every time wash day, should I add a gel or should I not? So we're going to be testing that out today by doing a twist out with gel on one side and then with just the curling cream or twisting cream on the other side. And that's going to debunk whether or not we need gel. Now, I recorded this video already, but I was having some microphone issues. Um, so it's gonna be good because this is the second trial run. So I already have results and everything recorded from that. So I think it'd be really cool to kind of bring in those results with the results that I'm gonna get um, moving forward. I'm going to basically make them compete in three different categories. One category is moisture. The second category is how defined my hair looks. And of course, the last is longevity. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how I apply the products and then I'm gonna go into um, takedown process where and then I'm probably gonna wait for about two or three days and then come back and give you guys a check-in for you to really see which one lasted so that's gonna kind of take care of everything um, in terms of the criteria that I have so I hope that you guys enjoy the video I hope that it is super helpful and thank you guys for even clicking on this video so let's jump into it so for the trial run today, I'm actually going to be using a couple of new products that I've been wanting to use for a while and have stuck. It's from a Dominican brand, uh, Dominican Republic, um, called Afro Love. And this is, um, I have the curling puree here as well as the leaving smoothie. So I'm going to go ahead and layer the curling puree on top of that. And for my gel, I don't have a gel from this brand. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use the main choice line. Now this is similar to what I did, but the first time around, I used the Miel Organics pomegranate and honey line. I used the leave-in and I think the curling curl fine cream or something like that um and then i went ahead and laid it with the same main choice gel i really do enjoy this gel so that's why i used it back but totally new products for this trial so because i wanted to switch it up of course you know so the first thing that i do is um i have my hair in sections sections make it a whole lot easier um to apply the products and just to kind of manipulate the hair and all that kind of stuff the first time i did it i did it a bit large so um, one of the things i'm going to do is correct that and make the twist just a, a bit smaller to see if i get longer wear from it because the first time the wear was about four days so um in the larger sections i go ahead and apply the leave-in product And then I'm going to go in with my white tooth comb and just go ahead and give myself a little quick detangling session. Now, usually what I do is I have my spray water, my spray bottle of water on hand, and that's just to make sure the hair is damp. I do like to do that, especially when I'm going to be applying the gels. It's going to be important to have the hair kind of damp. So this side is the side only with the leave-in product and the curling or twisting cream. On this side, we're going to go ahead and do the gel, but we're not there yet. Let's go with this side first. <laughs> so... Of course, I just applied the leave-in cream and I'm about to go ahead and apply the curling puree. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply some water. Let me zoom in, you guys, on this. It's going to apply some water there. And... Ooh. Okay. And first time using the curling puree. We're gonna really just apply this on the length of the hair, pull down. And because we're not using any gels, we're gonna kind of run this through the hair as you would a gel. And this is just to help, um, of course, make sure it's completely um, coated and distributed throughout the hair. And also because we wanna get a little bit of definition or as much as we can from just this product, since we're not using gel. We wanna give it a fair chance. So we have to really distribute it and get it throughout the hair to make sure that whatever curl we have with this product is gonna be um, shown. And then I'm gonna be using the comb again, just to make sure everything is good. And last but not least, I'm gonna use my Denman brush. And my Denman brush is just the finishing touch 
to kind of get this distributed and just give my hair a little bit of definition as well really really nice wow okay okay <laughs> the curls look really nice and defined um with just the cream alone and just the denman brush and just the motion of getting it through the hair of course for any twist out you want to make sure and section the hair tightly um, and taunt you don't want any slack twists because how it is when it's wet is exactly how it's going to be when it's dry so you just want to make sure and give your twists um, the most fair chance so really just keeping that tension as I go all the way down the twist <laughs> of course I just told you guys about keeping any tension and then my hand just slipped but yeah keeping the tension every periodically you can kind of just get it tighter and tighter and tighter and when you go down to the ends um because my hair is color treated and it's prone to getting frizzy i'm just gonna you know brush it down with the denman brush and get it all the way down to the end once you get to the end you can do a nice little quick twirl and this helps with just the ends and making sure the ends look really nice and defined and that is your twist <laughs> So I'm finally on to my last section and I decided to just go ahead and skip everything and just go to the last section to show you guys how I apply the gel products because it's pretty similar as the other side. The only difference is of course adding the gel on top. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna wet my hair again. And the wetting of the hair is really to just allow, allow the hair to receive the products that you're gonna put in there. Um, wet hair absorbs a lot better and dry hair um damp is best but you know so i'm gonna go in with the curling smoothie curling cream and just layer that and i'm putting on of course just as before a healthy layer of product this cream is so good okay i didn't do this before <laughs> i just felt like um because it's such a tiny section i'm going in with a very fine tooth comb just to get the section detangled um, I don't feel like if the thicker comb will do anything. And then last finishing touch is my Denman brush, all right? And the difference in this section is that I'm gonna add the gel. So I'm gonna add a nice layer of the um, main choice gel. And I really just wanna show you guys, this gel smooths the hair. So the hair is extremely defined. Now I must say kudos look at that <laughs> okay did you see that okay look at that i must say kudos to the um product by afro love the curling puree my hair is extremely defined even without any kind of gel or additive product i feel as though my hair is extremely defined um with this product but i feel as though just the combination of these two products it just like sets my hair off to another level Oh, this took me like almost two hours, <laughs> even with this size of twist, but this is the finished product. Um, the side with the gel is definitely more white um, because of the product, so it's going to take a little bit longer to dry on this side than this side. This side of it has already dried, if you can see. Um, can you see a difference already in the product, how it's making my hair? Let me just zoom out. So this is the back of my hair. So this is the side with the gel and this is the side without the gel. So I don't know if you can already see a difference in my hair and the smoothness. I don't know. So as promised, I'm going to go ahead and let this air dry. It's going to air dry for about one to two days, probably two days. And I'm going to take it down, wear it as normal, go and do my errands, just live my best life. <laughs> and then I'm going to come back and show you guys what it looks like. And that's how we're going to just do the wrap up. Make sure and tell you guys my thoughts, really see whether or not we need gel or if we just kind of need it or if we just don't really need it at all. And um, yeah, so stay tuned. Well, I'll be back. <laughs> so it's been about two days. Um, I let my hair um, sit and dry, whatever. I prefer to air dry my hair. Um, so I'm now gonna show you guys the takedown process. I'm really excited. I am really happy with how the twists um, stayed. Um, just in terms of just regular twists. 
I definitely think this is going to be a really great twist out. Um, I must say, in terms of first impressions, the side with the gel feels and looks a little bit less frizzy. Um, it's it's not also as voluminous. You can see it's a bit almost smoother, straighter than this side, which looks a little bit more bulky. So I assume that's how it's going to look in the takedown. Uh, so let's see. Um, in terms of what I use, of course, you use an oil to remove any frizz. I'm using an oil by Gem Concepts. It's the Fruity Roots Oil. It's um, flavored hair oil. So this one is banana strawberry. It smells amazing. If you are into bagel, Trinidad bagel in general, it's a 10 year old entrepreneur. And she started this line and it's so cute. Packaging is amazing, but also um, just the smell. Like look how cute. The lady is i hope you can see that so it's a really cool brand so i'll definitely leave that down below but i'm using that just to of course remove any frays make sure my hands are nice and smooth so ready for the tape down so which side are we gonna do first let's do one let's do the side without the um gel Like, I don't know what you guys think. Like, so far, so good to me, I think. Yeah? Do you guys agree? I think it's so far, so good. And this is the side with the gel I want you. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, that's me. Gesund tight. Um, I want you to see if you can see a difference um, in terms of how my hair looks. I think so far, it looks really good. All right. So, I'm finished picking out everything. I think my hair looks really good. So I'm just gonna give you guys a little 360 turn around. Um, this is the side with the gel. And then this is the side without the gel. I'm not sure if I need to turn up my lighting a little bit. So side with the gel again, just for you to see um exactly what's going on there um in terms of the hair and decide with all gel and then we're gonna do a little turn around <laughs> turn around so do a little turn around i always i'm so nervous to turn around because i don't know what the heck my hair looks like from the back <laughs> i tried to use a mirror but I, I i don't know so i hope you guys can see that do you see much of a difference between the two? Now, this experiment is crazy. And the reason being is because typically when I use a twisting cream versus when I use a gel, I see a huge difference between the two sides. Now I am still seeing slightly, slightly a smidge less frizz on the side of the gel, like a smidge. But I must admit that the Afro Love Curling Puree is holding up. And this is not a review of the Afro Love Curling Puree, but my God. So, but this is amazing also because it shows you that there are curling creams with enough hold that can give you that defined look without the gel. Now the question is, is there a benefit? One, you only have to use that product. You don't have to buy an additional product. So that's good. Um, but of course, I don't want to make any final statements, anything final until I come back. So I'm going to come back in about two or three days with this hair and show you guys what it stays like because that is the true test um, among this and that's the final test the longevity and how my hair feels in terms of moisture how defined my hair is and you know which one looks more lively after that three day time is definitely going to be the final um bet but so far oh my god it's pretty good all right guys so i am back after five days so a little bit longer than I expected and I'm just in to give you guys the checkup and of course the final verdict on our little experiment. So the question we're gonna answer today is this. Do we need gel for our twist outs? Now I had a few assumptions before this experiment of course and the two assumptions I had was one, the side with the gel would be more defined and it would last a lot longer throughout the days as the twist out wore. And the second assumption was that the side without the gel and just the twisting cream would be a lot more moisturized after the end of the experiment. Now, as you remember, I did 
this before and the film the it, the video didn't work out so i'm actually going to show you guys the side by side of what my hair looks like after the five of the four or five days of that experiment when i use the meal organics products and then today now as you see it here when i use the um afro love products for you just to see the difference in terms of how the twist out and stuff stayed and that has a big big impact on how we get into the results of this test and our final verdict <laughs> so what i can gather is that i feel as though my hair is nicely defined after that time now as you can see you know you're still seeing some definition going on it's not completely puffed out there's still some elongation going on my twist out started about hair of course it shrunk up to hair i mean sweat going to the gym taking showers etc is going to cause the hair to rise up a little bit but i feel as though it did pretty well of course i'm going to show you guys the back the side etc now i want you to check it very well the difference between the two sides. Now this is the side without the gel and this is the side with the gel. The difference between the sides is very, very menial. You can barely tell that there was much of a difference between the two. As you can see, I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer just to see how that is. So you're seeing, you know, some defined sections here. You're gonna see some more fluffy areas here. Similarly, you know, you're seeing defined sections and fluffy areas. So, in terms of defined hair, the side with the gel is just a tad bit more defined than the side without the gel. So that assumption seems to be proven correct. However, the variation in how defined it is compared to the two sides, I thought I would see a bigger um, gap in terms of defined versus like being totally frizzy. I feel as though this is still good considering the fact that there is no gel to really hold it and gel is supposed to be a holding product so this did really well in that portion of the experiment in terms of the hair feeling more moisturized i feel slight tinge if i'm being very fussy about the side without the gel being more moisturized on the side with the gel but i want to give special mention to some of the new age gels that they're bringing out now they are moisturizing the gels as i knew it before when i first started my hair journey was drying you know they make your hair look dull these gels add shine these gels add moisture your hair doesn't feel stiff but of course they add you know the definition you need um they make your hair curl you know they do a good job of all those things compared to the traditional gels as, as we know it so I would say that yes the moisture is a tinge bit more on this side but nothing that if you're not being fussy you could know and you can't really see it it's not like this side is super shiny and this side is like super dull you can see that it looks pretty good and from feeling it my hair feels moisturized on all fronts and in terms of longevity they look pretty much the same to be honest this side a little bit more defined but they look pretty much the same. You couldn't tell unless you were being extremely fussy and nitpicky that I used uh, additional product on this side versus on this side. So the verdict is, do you need gel for your twist outs? Or braid outs or whatever? I don't think so. <laughs> so me saying no, gel is not needed for twist outs, braid outs, styling, etc. It's definitely needed for a wash and go. But for twist outs, braid outs, etc., it seems as though the new age twisting creams, because before there weren't really twisting creams, it was more moisturizers. There have been a lot more twisting creams, curly fine creams coming out in the market. And these have a certain level of hold in there that you're able to get very defined hair, moisturized hair, etc., without having to use an additional gel or whatever the case is. But I think the hugest part of why this twist out lasted a lot longer than last week and I feel as though there was not as big of a gap between the two um, in terms of with gel and without gel is my technique so the last time I did it the initial time I just kind of you know spread the cream inside you know did a little comb through and twisted the hair the sections were also a bit larger similar with the gel I just raked through the cream put the gel and just twisted my hair this time around, I did slightly smaller sections. And I also, as you saw in the video, I raked the cream through, raked it. I wet my hair, making sure that the hair had enough moisture. So I essentially started my twist out like I would a, a wash and go. My hair was pretty wet. And I raked through my cream products. I raked in my cream products. And then I used a Denman brush to further really define and detangle. And as you saw, my hair was curly even before I put 
any twisting or whatever the case was. And then of course with the side with the gel, the additional gel again was rake through and pull through just as you would a twist, uh, a wash and go, sorry. So I think that was the change in how my hair lasted. So again, do you need a gel for twist up? No, but I do think you need to refine your technique and be very careful with how you spread and how you apply the cream product to ensure that you get the maximum of that product. If you're just going in, piecing your hair with, the, with, with it and using a white tooth comb and twisting your hair, you are not going to get the same curl definition, curl separation, etc., as you would with a gel. But if you're doing like me and you're carefully raking through the hair and getting it good and using a Denman brush and really getting your curls to be defined, before you apply the twist, you will get long lasting, great twists without having to buy an additional product and with you know your hair feeling a little bit more moisturized. So that is the end of the verdict. And of course, you know, the pictures are up there so you can see the differences in between the two of them and how really refining my technique between the two weeks was able to give me a really good result. <laughs> So that is essentially the end of the experiment. I hope that you guys really followed um, it and it was really helpful for you. I was really excited shooting this because it was really nice to see, you know, in action what you think, because you can have an assumption, but really getting into action and doing the experiment is the essential part of coming up with your, or proving your hypothesis. I feel like I'm in chemistry class again. <laughs> But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to catch up with me, of course, you can catch up with me on Facebook and Instagram at Beauty Outspoken. It will be awesome if you subscribe, like the video, you can share it with you know your friends or people that might have the same debate as you. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.